Hi, I'm Sandra. Join me on ST Smart Parenting, a series where we bring together experts to answer your burning questions on education and parenting. They will also give you expert advice on how to help your child thrive in school and life. For more of such content, go check out our new website. If you're looking at the very young, say the zero to one year old, uh, you can start with books that has got uh, books that have got uh, rhythmic language, and then you can um, choose books with rhymes, uh, nursery rhymes, uh, finger plays. Yeah, so these are the ones that are good that you can start off with. And in terms of uh, books, because usually we start off with picture books, right? Books that have got the narration plus the illustrations. So for the very young, the babies, um, you can choose books that have got very distinct um, outline that ha shows the object against a background, a particular background. So you have these uh, books that name objects, name a certain actions. And uh, the best colours for the very, very young, say less than six months, you can choose books that have got black on white or, or red, you know. Those are the colours that they can see. Uh, and see the outline of objects. So these are the ones that uh, will be good for the young ones. As they grow older, say you're looking at the one to three years old, you can choose books that have got still the rhythmic language or nursery rhymes, but you expand it a little bit more uh, by having books that allow them to do some kind of actions based on the book, like flip the flap or push and pull tabs or uh, you know touch and feel. These are good for the one to two years old. I think I can show that with one book here, uh, West Spot, which is a classic because um, it's by Eric Hill. So if you, you see, this book is actually looking for the dog named Spot. So you can actually um, ask the question and the child can open up for you. So for example, this one, is he behind the door? And the child can actually open it up for you. Oh, he's not spot. So you can actually engage later on. The one thing that I like about all these books is that you can start it when the child is young and you can progress it, progress as they get older because you can actually have uh, conversations that allow them to build their narratives as well. After the three years old, you can start looking at uh, everyday experiences. When they are younger, you choose concepts, right? The concepts of uh, colours, the concept of numbers. But when they are slightly older, what you can do is to choose books that um, associate them with their everyday lives. So it can be uh, the arrival of a new sibling, it could be you know losing your tooth, or it could be a fear of the dark. So there are books that are uh, associating with all these stories and all these experiences that the child is going through. So you can pick and choose all these categories. I wanted to highlight one that is my favourite, which is uh, Guess How Much I Love You. I couldn't find the big one, but this is my personal copy. Usually we see mothers and child, but this one is uh, for fathers and children. And it talks about how much the father loves the child. So there's always a comparison like, I love you this much, and the child will say, I love you more. You know, things like that. At the end of it, the child will say, I love you to the moon. Yeah, And the father, after the child sleeps, the father says, I love you to the moon and back. The concept of the book is so great that um, in terms of my personal experience, I had a, when my child was about four and learning swimming, and he's so fearful of um, the, the water. So when I was reading this, I was doing uh, you know, a gauge. Said, are you scared like that or are you scared like that of the water? And he went, after reading this, he went, oh, I was scared like that. So it also allows parents to understand the experiences that the child is going through, which will not come about if you were not doing a reading session. It's more like, you know, you can't, you can't understand the fear um, without knowing that gauge. Because children can say, I'm extremely scared. They, they just can show you. So by showing that kind of physical action, I think it's, it's helpful. And especially after you have uh, read a book totally.